All right. So the next topic uh, will be covered by myself, and I will be covering the editing tools in the terrain models. So starting off with adding and removing features, I will be demonstrating how to place a line and add that as a break line feature into the terrain model. And later, I will also tell how to remove the break line from the terrain model, which we've already added. So switching to the software. Here I am in a terrain file and I will go to the drawing and select the place smart line. And I will add one smart line in between this point and this point, which I want to add as a feature, as a break line. So what I'll do, I'll go back to the terrain. And under the edit, we have a tool called edit features. So once I select the edit features, it asks me to locate the terrain model first. So all I do, I'll select the terrain model. As you can see, it highlights and I'll accept that. Now it asks me for it, locate the element to add. So this is my element, which I want to add as a break line feature. I will select this element and it also asks me to locate the next element if I have. If I'll be having multiple, I will be selecting them with the one left mouse click. And then after I done, I will reset it by clicking on the right click. So once I do the right click, it asks me for the second option to select it, which feature type I want to bring that element in. So right now I want to bring this element as a break line. So I have selected the break line. But as you can see here, we have different option to bring that element in. So you can bring it as a contour, you can bring as a drape void, hole void, break void, in many different ways. So I'll select the break line and accept that. It will process it. And as you can see, it has updated the terrain model. And this element is now a part of this terrain model as a break line. So this demonstrates how to add a break line. And next, what I want to do now is to remove this break line from this terrain model, which I no longer be needed. So what I'll do, I'll go back again in the terrain and under the edit tools, I'll have an option of remove features. Once I select that, it asks me for which terrain option which I want to select. And this is the terrain model. I will select this. And it asks me which element do I have to remove. So if I have multiple elements, I will select the multiple ones. And in this case, I have just one. So I'll select this element. And it asks me if I want to reset it to done or do I have any more elements. So in this case, I'm done. I'll do one. Right click. And as you can see, the model, the train model has been updated. And this element is no longer a part of the train model. And this has been edited. So this is how we can just remove the feature and add features. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.